everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to play the tune Oh Susanna on the violin. And if you enjoy this video and find it to be helpful, I invite you to give it a thumbs up. And if you're here, but you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, consider subscribing. I post here twice a week, every week. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. All right, so for this one, we're in the key of A major, which means we have three sharps. We're gonna have a high second finger on the a string so keep an eye out for that and we're starting on an open a okay so there we're sort of going up a scale and then right back down next we're going to start on an up bow on our first finger b Okay, and then for our third phrase, we're gonna play the exact same set of notes that we did for the very first phrase. So hopefully you recognize this set of notes. Okay, and then again, we're gonna start on a B for this last phrase on an up bow, but listen because the notes are a little bit different than what we heard before. Okay, so we ended on a nice open A there, and that is the end of the A section. So what I'm gonna do now is go back for you and play the whole A part so that you can play along with me or just listen for anything that you might not have caught the first time. And we're starting off with two eighth note pickups, so I'm gonna count you off to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Right, so that is all of the A part and we would go ahead and play that twice. The form of this tune is A, A, B, B. So getting into this B part, we're gonna start on our third finger D on the A string. So pretty straightforward there, we're going from our third finger D to our first finger F sharp on the E string, and then we're actually gonna pick up with this next phrase on that same F sharp. Okay, and then next we're gonna start this next phrase on an open A, on a down bow. So you probably recognize that phrase from the A section. If you did, you're absolutely right. It's the same set of notes. And we're actually gonna end this B part the same way that we did the A part. So again, we're starting on an up bow with our first finger B. All right, and that is the whole B section. So now again, like what I did with the A part, I'm gonna go ahead and play through all of the B part for you at a slow, moderate tempo so that you can play along with me or just listen in case there was anything that you didn't catch the first time. So let's go ahead and go through this B part together. One, two, three, four. All right, 
right, and that is the whole tune. That is all of Oh Susanna. Congratulations for learning this one today. Now, if you feel like you have this melody down pat and you want to sort of take the tune to the next level, maybe throw some double stops in, that's what we're gonna talk about now. So if you're up for the challenge, then stay tuned because we're gonna talk about some ways that you can introduce double stops into this melody. So what I would recommend for this tune in particular with the key that we're in is staying between the A string and the E string for the most part with double stops. So whenever we have our melody on the A string, you would use E as a drone. And then whenever you would have melody on the E string, you would use A as a drone. And that is just kind of a good rule of thumb with this tune. It keeps it simple. We keep our bow for the most part balanced evenly between the A string and the E string. And it just makes for an easier time while also adding that fiddly texture that we all love. So in the opening clip of this video, you probably heard that I played this melody with double stops at what we would consider more of a performance tempo. So you're welcome to refer to that if you would like, but what I'm gonna do now is just play through the very beginning of this tune at a slower tempo with some added double stops. You can kind of see just a general direction that we would maybe take this if we were to throw some of that in. <laughs> So as you could tell, I was alternating between the A string and the E string with my left hand, the melody, but my bow was staying pretty steadily between both strings the whole time. So that's the idea. We're keeping the bow between the A string and the E string while our left hand is free to move about the two strings. So if you need a little bit of practice coordinating that, feel free to just take your time with it. But double stops are a really great way to sort of add in that texture, that fiddly style that we all love. So if you enjoy that and want to give that a try, then definitely do so. Now, if you're good with the melody, if you're good with the double stops, but you want to, again, take it to another level, you can definitely add in some ornaments. And what I mean by that is adding in flicks, turns, just any extra notes that sort of give us more of that, again, fiddly sound. So if you're interested in that, you're welcome to just kind of use your own discretion with how to throw those in there. It's really all about what sounds good to your ear. That's the most important thing. Thing to remember here so feel free to just have fun with it and play around with adding in some different notes along with the double stops all right well thanks so much for sticking around with me today and learning oh Susanna I hope you enjoyed this tune and have fun practicing it and I'll see you in the next video happy practicing if you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.